This here is Jane Search. She loves to bake. And today, she baked a cake. Before Jane eats the cake, she wants to add two cherries of exactly the same size on top of each slice. But unfortunately, she only has one cherry at home. Her parents, Mr. Linear Search, and Mrs. Linear Search, offered to take her to the grocery shop to buy some more. At the shop, there were so many different cherries of each different sizes that Jane got confused on how to start looking for one that she wants. This is when Mr. Linear Search offered to help Jane find the perfect cherry. In a line of cherries of all different sizes, he started from the first cherry and matched its size with the original cherry. Unfortunately, they both were of different sizes. So, he moved on to the next cherry in line, that is, the second cherry. Again the two cherries were of different sizes. He matched the cherries one by one moving across the line, to the third cherry, fourth cherry, fifth cherry and so on until he found the one that was the same size. In programming, this is called linear search. In this search method, we start from one end of a list of items and iterate through the list to the other end in search of the item we need. Let's implement it in code. We create a method called linear search that accepts an array and a target value to be searched. Then we create a for loop that iterates through the elements of the array from the first index, that is 0, to the last index, that is length of the array minus 1. In each iteration, we check if the value of the element at the current index is equal to the target value. If yes, we return the current index, else, we move to the next index. Outside the for loop, we return minus 1 to indicate that the target value does not exist in the array. The control will reach this statement only when the loop finishes execution without returning any index. The time complexity for this algorithm is O of n or linear time complexity. Jane was still unhappy after finding the cherries because she now wanted a blueberry of the same size. At this point Jane was getting very impatient as she was very hungry. So Mrs. Binary Search decided to help her out as she had a more efficient way to find the perfect blueberry than Mr. Linear Search's method, considering the blueberries at the shop were already placed in increasing order of size. She went to the blueberry in the middle of the line and checked if it was the same size as the cherries. Unfortunately, the blueberry was bigger than the cherries. At this point, Mrs. Binary Search narrowed down her search to just the blueberries on the left of this middle blueberry. She explained that since the blueberries were in increasing order of size, all the blueberries to its right were also bigger than the cherries since she knew the middle one was. She again repeated the same process with the first half batch of the blueberries. She went to the middle blueberry, compared the size with the cherry, found that it was smaller this time and narrowed the search to the right of this blueberry. Now, she was just left with one blueberry which was luckily the right size. This is known as binary search in programming. In this search method, the list of items to be searched must be already sorted. The idea is to divide the elements in half and compare the target value with the middle value. This information is used to narrow down the search to just half of the original size of the list. The same step is repeated until the element is found or until we can no longer divide the list in half. The time complexity of this algorithm is O of log n. Binary search belongs to a class of algorithms called divide and conquer. Let's implement binary search in code using Python. We declare a method called binary search that accepts an array and a target value to be searched. Initially, left will be equal to the first index, that is, 0, and right will be equal to the last index, that is, length of the array minus 1. Then we start a while loop with the exit condition, left is less than, or equal to right. This means that the while loop will run until the search section is at least one element long. Within each iteration, we look for the middle index, mid, round it off and compare it with the target value. If the middle value is equal to the target value, we return the middle index. If it is smaller, then we update the left to be equal to mid plus 1, narrowing down the search to the element to its right. Else if it is bigger, we update the right to be equal to mid minus 1, narrowing down the search to the elements to its left. Outside the while loop, we return minus 1, that is, the target value does not exist in the list. Thanks for watching this video.
You can check out our channel for more such videos and while you're here, don't forget to subscribe.